Hey everybody, welcome back to Rachel's Rocks Canada. I wanted to give you guys a couple of more ideas for cute shoes. You were asking for girl shoes, ballet slippers. Uh, a lot of a lot of you wanted more sparkle. So I am giving you a couple more ideas today. Um, now I started off with white on my rocks because my rocks are dark gray. So I primed them with white acrylic paint. Um, I think I did two layers because they're super dark. Um, I did this on the last shoe tutorial, my little rock star shoes, um, because it's just nice to start off with a nice white base and that way all the color that you put on here will stand out a lot more. So you can't really see what I'm doing with pencil right now, but what I'm doing is I'm just kind of sketching on, um, somewhat where I want the inside of my shoe to be. And then, uh, and then we'll be painting it. So I am going to put it all uh, in black. So black and white for you so that you can easily see um, the design of the little baby doll shoe that I am creating. Now I will move the shoe into your focus. There you go. See, I promise I will try and keep this stuff in focus for you. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not so good with it. I'm concentrating so hard on the painting itself that I don't even realize that you guys can't see what I'm doing. So I will apologize because it's going to happen again. Now I am filling in just the top half of my shoe because the bottom half of my shoe is going to end up being um, like a brown. So the top half is black. Bottom half will be brown later on. And I'll show you that as well. I, I make sure to show you the bottoms of these shoes. So and I'm just trying to go as straight as possible with a straight edged uh, paintbrush um, so that I don't have to do too much fixing afterwards. I want to kind of make it as straight as possible, not too choppy um, around that where it goes from black to brown. And then I just use a nice thick wide paintbrush to bring that strap across, not too wide, but you can make that strap as, as thick or as thin as you want. So um, I am working on a second one so that I have a pair, um, but I'm not going to show you all the steps on the second one. They're both going to look very, very similar, not exact, but very, very similar in the end. And you'll get to see them together at the very end of the video. So just so you know, I am making a pair. Now I do have my little rock star shoes in my Etsy shop, so I'm going to be putting these ones in there too. Um, they're going to be perfect for a little girl's bedroom or um, anything, anything adorable. They would look so cute sitting in a little plant. Um, they're about three and a half inches big each, so um, they're super cute. You'll, you'll see at the end, I will be resining these ones. Um, I didn't resin the Rockstar shoes, but these ones, they're going to get it and you're going to love it. So I wasn't really happy with the shape of the opening of my shoes. So I'm starting over again using a sponge um, and white paint just so that I can try and get the similar size opening um, as the other one. I want to make them as close as possible to the same size. And then I'll add a strap onto both of them and then work away at them one at a time. So you are allowed to fix mistakes. You are allowed to adjust things if you don't like it. Um, you just have to wait for your paint to dry so that you can cover it up. That's the my best suggestion. Don't try and cover it up while it's still wet because it just makes a mess. And uh, be patient, let it dry, and then fix away because that's just part of creating something. There's going to be mistakes. So I kind of like the shape. I'm going to work with the shape now and add straps um, afterwards. So you will see it all come together. And you can go back if you make a mistake with the black, you can go back after it's dry and fix it with white. Same if you make, make a mistake with the white, you can go back and fix it with the black. Always wait for it to dry. So you can kind of see what I'm getting at here. These cute little baby doll shoes. I will be using a uh, glitter um, gel nail polish, which is cured with an LED 
uh, slash UV lamp. Um, you don't have to use that kind of glitter for your bow on your shoe. You don't even have to put a bow on your shoe. Um, but if you love the ruby slippers from the Wizard of Oz, um, you will love the little bows that I put on these shoes. So you can use any kind of glitter you want for the bows. It's completely up to you. But I chose these because I've always, ever since I watched The Wizard of Oz, um, and ever since I saw those sparkling ruby slippers, I, I needed them. I needed them someday. But the closest thing I've come to is this gel polish. <laughs> It will be listed in the description of the video, um, as well as uh, a LED lamp. So uh, if that's an option for you, or if you're somebody who has that kind of stuff kicking around your house, um, that's amazing. You are an artist. <laughs> Anyone who's in the nail field is an artist as well, so props to them. I've always, I've always been so inspired by uh, nail technicians and the amazing things they can do on such a small little space. So now I'm adding my straps and I'm just doing this part together uh, with the other one, just so I kind of have them generally in the same area and, and it, they look similar to each other. So it is just a little hint. You might want to do both of them at the same time so that they look more similar. If you do one at a time, you might change things up. So this way I find it a little bit easier. So I like them. You can even stop there if you think that's enough. <laughs> they don't really look like shoes yet, but they will. I promise. So I'm just straightening out the uh, black around the edge just making sure it's not all choppy like I said you can see it a little bit better uh, underneath there where you can see white that's actually going to be brown so we're going to be putting some brown on there once that's dry I'm just making sure it looks pretty even on both of them and uh, and then we can move on to the next step And you can do whatever kind of strap you want. You can look up uh, little uh, cute little shoes for little girls or baby doll shoes, uh, vintage baby doll shoes. They're, some of them are really cool. Um, but you can change up the straps and stuff however you want to do it. It changes the whole look of them. And you can do them in whatever color you want. You don't have to do them in black and red like I'm doing. Um, but it's totally up to you. Now I am using a light brown here, but I end up not liking that light brown. Um, it's just to kind of give like the look of the edge of leather on the front of the, uh, strap. Um, uh, but I changed it to more of a nutmeg brown. So it's a little bit darker. And then I use the same brown, um, to outline all the edges and do the bottoms of the shoes. So ignore this color that I've just put on there because it's not going to be that color. Now I'm going to be putting a silver buckle on each each one. Make sure you don't do the buckle on the same side on the pair. Make sure you do opposite, opposite sides so they actually look like a pair. Um, and yeah, I just do like a little square over top of the strap that I just painted and it looks like a buckle. You can go all in there and make it more realistic and all that, but I just end up keeping it a little square. I put a little silver line in the middle of that, but then I took it away where the strap is so that it looks like it's sitting over top of that little bit. You'll see. But if you just put a little square there, make the square a little bit bigger than the, the, the strap itself. And uh, you don't have to use silver. You can use gold. It's up to you. I've been using silver in the last couple of, of uh, videos. So it's kind of a nice change, but I do miss my gold. <laughs> I might have to add it somewhere. So I will be outlining all around there with the brown. Um, but I've 
still haven't switched the color here yet. I'm just outlining it now and fixing it. Um, but you'll see as we go along. The, the brown that I choose in the end, it just seems to go better with the shoe, so. I just wanna thank all of my subscribers as well. Um, I've got over 45,000 now and it just, it just, I can't even believe that there's that many people out there that wanna watch me paint or wanna paint rocks. I just think it's fantastic and I love all of you so, so much and appreciate every single one of you. And you're always, always there for me. There's always such beautiful comments coming from you and um, you are thanking me for what I do for you, but you have no idea what you all do for me. So I just want to thank you all for subscribing and being there for me and being patient throughout the holiday season and me moving and everything. It was very, very stressful, but you guys all stuck it out and waited for me. So now I'm giving you a couple of things to do uh, in the new year. So there's going to be a couple of tutorials coming uh, over the next couple of days, and I hope that you love them all. So I am adding some nice bright Christmas red in here. Now you can always do your strap afterwards because that's probably a smarter thing to do. Um, but I am doing it the wrong way. <laughs> so join me in doing it the wrong way. Um, so yeah, I'm just filling it in with Christmas red. And I will be going in with like a darker red, a berry wine to make the uh, bottom of the shoe a little bit darker so that it looks like you can actually slip your foot in there. Um, so yeah, two different shades of red in this one. I'm just making sure I coat make sure all the white is covered. I will use a sponge to uh, make sure I get even better coverage with my second coat. Um, and I just like the look of it when I, when I sponge the paint on. So um, what you can't see is I'm just fixing some of the, I went over the black with some red. So I outlined that again. And now I'm going in with a sponge and the berry wine color and as you can see, I'm not going all the way out to the both sides. I'm kind of making it smaller so that it looks like the inside of the shoe at the bottom. So once again, I apologize. It's not in focus because I'm concentrating on making it look like a shoe. <laughs> uh, but I will bring it into your focus very, very soon. And you'll be able to see what it is that I'm actually talking about. So... That's what I'm talking about. I own, I start right at the front, right at the black part, and I will go over that again because I've sponged over top onto the black. Um, but you don't go all the way to the other end and you don't go all the way to the sides. You just keep it in the center um, just so that it looks like it's the bottom of the shoe and it's a little farther away inside the shoe and it's a bit shaded down there. And you can always go back over and fix the strap and fix anywhere that you over blended. Now I'm going in with the red again, just to make sure I keep a nice straight, um, straight line there, not all sponged out, just cleaning it up. And then I can clean up the black paint as well on the strap. And all I have to do is go over top of it and all those mistakes and blemishes disappear. But like I said, it might be a little bit easier to put your strap on afterwards, after you're finished blending in the inside of the shoe, then add your strap. That's probably what I would suggest after creating this one myself. making that color again, which I don't end up liking at all. It just doesn't look right to me. Um, it kind of looks like gold without the shimmer. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look right. <laughs> I got to change this. 
So I am fixing more of my red, but I'm going to make a little bow here just with red paint. And then I'm actually going to let this bow dry and then add the uh, glittery um, gel polish to it. And uh, yeah, there's a, there's a process and it looks so cute when it's done. It looks so, so cute. You'll love them. Now, if this video seems to be skipping at all, I apologize. I'm not sure what's going on, but um, hopefully it's not, it's not too badly edited for you. So you can see the little shape. I'm doing the bow on the side of the buckle. So this one is the left shoe and on the right shoe, the buckle will be on the right side and the bow will be on the right. So now I am painting it once again, the color that I don't like <laughs> on the bottom. Um, and then I've decided nutmeg brown. Yes, nutmeg brown. And it ends up looking way better. A lot better but you decide what color you want for the bottoms of your shoes it's it's totally up to you I just wanted a nice brown I just thought it resembled cute little shoes from way back so I'm gonna be doing that and making sure that I fix any that went over onto the black and and just make sure that everything looks good around the sides, a nice straight line with the black and the brown, not all choppy. And if you make a mistake with the brown, fix it with the black once it's dry. So now I'm going in with my fine lining brush and I'm just gonna do a fine line where we have darkened the inner part of the shoe, just so it looks like your foot can sit right in there. It's such a cute little shoe. I got a thing for cute little shoes. Baby shoes, like come on, I could look at them all day. All sorts of baby shoes. They're the cutest things in the world. I could never get my kids to keep shoes on their feet when they were little, so I had cute little Nike shoes. Yeah, they, they looked cute on the floor beside the baby. <laughs> so I'm just adding in some little wrinkles in the bow and outlining it with black. And then once it's dry, I'm gonna go in with the gel polish, which is, like I said, it's an option that you don't have to do. I don't want you to go out and buy stuff just so that you can do this the exact same way as me. Uh, you can get the same beautiful effect using any kind of glitter paint. Um, just make sure it's dry properly before you seal it. And I will be using resin to seal mine, so they're gonna be extra, extra shiny. Uh, when it's done and the glitter is going to really show up too. I will leave um, all of the resin information and tutorial in the description. I will leave my fine lining brush in the description, the, the tutorial for that. Um, and yeah, the glitter polish that I use on the bows, that will all be listed in the description as well. You can do whatever color you want on the inside of the shoe. You can do blue, purple, pink. Um, I just wanted to use red. I really like red right now. <laughs> That's why the, the, the rock star shoes are red. And, uh, yeah, but you'll see there's going to be another, another beautiful pair of shoes coming very soon. And they're going to be so beautiful. So I am going to do some little stitches. I'm going to have to do another coat of brown on the bottom of my stone because that brown is really, really transparent. Um, so ignore the, the brush strokes. You see, I will be fixing that. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm using the same nutmeg brown to do cute little stitches just along the very edge of the black where it's meeting the brown. So you can see all the stitches that are holding the bottom of the shoe to the uh, black part of the shoe. So here's the gel polish. Um, I have a specific one that I use just for my artwork and it's really messy and it sits right on my desk and it's there uh, at minimal reach. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my little nail dryer or not, not nail dryer, but LED UV dryer, cure light, whatever you want to call it. 
Uh, that sits right on my desk too, so it's easy access. Now this stuff is a little bit transparent in some spots, so you might have to do two coats of it if you're using the same stuff. Uh, I will list the, the brand itself. In it. I buy it on Amazon. Um, and it, yeah, it's not, it's not very expensive and it definitely lasts me a very long time. You can make a whole lot of bows on shoes with one bottle. <laughs> a lot. So I'm just making sure that it's all covered up. I will be going back in after it's dry with the lamp um, and outlining, make sure that I still have a black outline so that it pops off the top of the shoe. And you will see how it looks after being sealed with resin. It just really stands out. It's just beautiful. So you'll see me put this ugly, dirty little pink light over top uh, this is the one that's on my desk. Uh, very, very inexpensive and it folds up and it takes very little space at my desk. So I, I use it all the time. So I've dried, I've dried it um, properly. I did it a little extra, gave it a little extra time under there just to make sure it's totally dry. And, um, and then I will be sealing it after we are done. And you'll be able to see it much better afterwards. So I will be, as you can see, I switched to the Nutmeg Brown um, along the strap. I will be putting that same strap color around the entire opening of the shoe. Um, right now I'm putting a little bit of metallic red. Uh, I'm going to try and find it so that I can give you the exact color of it. I believe it's Garnet. Yeah, it's Garnet. It's Folk Art. Um, garnet. It's a metallic red and I'm just putting a little bit of that on the inside where it's the lighter color red so it looks kind of like a satin in there. So you're changing up the whole look of it just by using uh, different types of paint. Metallic or glossy or glittery and uh, yeah it's going to look so cute when it's done. So I'm just going to outline my strap to make sure that I don't have any brown overlapping. I want to see the outer edge of the strap nice and black. I'm outlining the inside of the shoe, making sure that everything looks the way I want it to, which is kind of what I call clean up. Just kind of fix everything, adjust everything, and make sure it's the way I want it before I seal it. Adding the black around the bow again making sure I can see the black in the wrinkles. Kind of looks like a Hello Kitty bow <laughs> now that I look at it. What do you guys think of it? Well, let me know once you've seen it resin because I know how much you like that part. I needed a resin fix, guys, because we didn't resin the last shoes. I knew right away I was going to have to make some fancy schmancy ones so that we could resin them. <laughs> so it's taking some time, but I am going to be outlining that brown nutmeg around the edges. I see all my stitches here. Everything's looking pretty good. I did a second coat on the bottom so that you can't see through that brown anymore. And now I'm doing the outer edge of the opening of the shoe, just so it looks a little bit like it's leather. Sort of. That's what kind of look I'm going for. They look similar, right? They look so cute. I wish I had little feet that would fit in these. <laughs> No such luck. They're adorable though. I would love to hear what color you decide to make or if you've decided to make them just like mine. Um, let me know what you think of them in the comments. Sometimes when I tell you to let me know what you think, the comments are not turned on and I don't even know how that happens. So I have to keep going in and checking to make sure that you guys can even talk to me. <laughs> so if you can, 
Tell me what you think. I'd really appreciate it. They are so cute. Perfect for a um, baby shower once again for someone who's having a little girl. Um, you can even put them in like a little shadow box, glue them into it so that they aren't going to fall and hurt anybody because they're rocks, right? You don't want them to hurt anybody. So you could put them in a little display case. Um, but yeah, they're so cute. So just making sure everything is outlined and then we will be sealing them and I'm going to make them look so pretty. They look pretty good right now, but look at those sparkling little bows. I love the stitches. Love, love, love. They're so cute. So are you guys ready? You know, I love this part. Oh my goodness. Aren't they adorable? Who would not want those displayed in their little girl's bedroom or in their little garden? If they're resin, you can put them in the garden because they'll, they'll last a long time out there. Just so beautiful. I love you guys. Have fun with them.